What's up YouTube, how's it going? We got a pretty cool video for you guys today telling you guys how to disable the traction control on your GMC or Chevy vehicles. If you don't have a ZR2, the traction control comes back on at around 35 miles an hour. Whether you push the button or you hold it down, Stabilitrack just refuses to die and keeps coming back on. And we're also gonna take this opportunity to introduce you guys to Brett. You're gonna see a lot of him later on in some more of our track day videos. We finally found some vehicles to compare with Raptors and his GMC Sierra is perfect for that because he built it as a Raptor fighter. Speaking of the traction control, this day started kind of as a bust. We set out to record to showcase this truck for you guys just to introduce them and we couldn't get any action shots. We went out scouting on the tracks, the traction control just kept kicking in. Every time we wanted to get sideways, it's just the total fun police. He figured it out once we stopped at a dry lake bed to rest and to wait up for a bigger group. We were gonna meet up with some friends in some Raptors and he found some people to drag race. So for now, I'll give you guys the specs on this truck. I'm sure if you search for this video, you guys already know. He's running a couple homemade aesthetic upgrades, an air intake and an open exhaust dumped. And that's it for performance. For suspension, he's running Bilstein B8 Series 5100 shocks and damn, they do their job well. We ran for about 30 to 40 miles and he he was keeping a Raptor's pace the entire time. And while we're speaking of mods, most of his other stuff, his skid plates, brackets, he actually manufactured himself. He just makes them himself when he's bored. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to get your truck to move sideways like this, all you got to do is remove the number three fuse. That's it. I'm going to put a link to the owner's manual in case any of you guys lost it and you need it. Whatever, check it out. It'll be in the description. I don't know why Chevy label it as the power steering fuse, but I'm guessing that's why a lot of people can't find it. Fair warning, once you remove it, your dash is going to light up like a Christmas tree, but it'll all be good. Don't worry. And as soon as we got done playing, the Raptor showed up just in time. They came in a couple trucks deep, a couple F-150 builds too. We originally made plans together to go and do all this, but it turned into too big of a group, so they did their own dirt days things and turned it into a run, and we just took off pre-running and scouting. We decided to meet on the dry lake bed. Good thing too, because we've got another couple of friends to introduce to you guys before the drag race. This guy in particular is the one to watch if you like our track day stuff. This is Daniel. He's running a basically stock Ford Raptor. He's got it modded out on 37s, which I don't know how it doesn't slow him down, but he's got the best times on our tracks, man. This guy flies. He's definitely the one to beat, the one to watch, and he's also a really cool guy. And now we have Art. This guy's awesome, he's a total character. He's out from the UK, he's hanging out in Europe and Spain right now. He's just chilling, he's a world traveler. He came with his girlfriend. I mean, they got an awesome life. He's got a YouTube channel as well where they chronicle their adventures, going cross country, going across the world. In Europe, they use an aerial nomad. It's so sweet, man, it's awesome. And over here for the States, he has this Gen 1 Raptor. Supercharged, a lot of fun, and he loves to play with it. The last time we hung out with him, he wasn't able to do a lot of high speed stuff because the Baja trip he attended was mostly crawling. Check him out on his YouTube channel called Mud Nomad. So now it's on, we got a drag race for you guys. You guys already know Brett. It's a 2016 Sierra all-terrain four-wheel drive. The Gen 2 Raptor with aftermarket bedsides and fenders flying the American flag is David. He's got exhaust upgrades like X-pipes, he's got it dumped, he's got SPD turbo adapters and an AFE drop-in air filter. By the way, he's the one that David's loop is named after. Also, that ruby red Gen 1 is no street queen, man. It's got a Roush Stage 2 supercharger, Roush cold air intake, Roush catback exhaust. It's got long travel with SVC traction bars, bump stops, that thing's no joke. So just for reference, a stock Gen 1 Raptors V8 puts out 411 horsepower. A stock GMC Sierra's 2016 V8 that thing puts out 420 horsepower. But a Gen 2 Raptors twin turbo V6 puts out 450 horsepower. But look at the results, man. Numbers don't matter. It's real world scenario and that's why we compare them for you guys. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like. Please share if you know anybody that's having trouble with their traction control on their GMCs or Chevys, whatever. Seems the ZR2 is the only one that lets you take it completely off. And yeah, whether you're into crawling, racing, living snow, that traction control really slows you down. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram if you want sneak peeks to anything we're doing in the future. And I'm gonna put links in the description to all the vehicle owners in case you wanna follow them or ask them any vehicle information. Check them out, they're all cool people. And remember, no matter what you own, no matter what you drive, 
keep it dirty, enjoy your vehicle, and become a better driver. Thanks for watching, guys.